Hello, YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. And this one is from Germany. Uh, I don't know why, but I just got this weird hankering for a German beer. It's been a long time since I've had a German beer. And I've never had this one. And I didn't want to read too much on it because I want to do my review just as a regular beer drinker that just tried the beer. But I did glance and I did see that this is, might be the oldest brewery, the oldest beer, not literally, but the oldest brewed beer in the world. So we shall see. I don't know if it is or not, but apparently this brewery is one of the oldest in the world. So, whoa, wow, okay, so I am going to butcher this name, so I'm going to tell you right now, I, I don't know how to pronounce this, um, I only have a high school education, so this is uh, pretty crazy, uh, Franzikaner, Franzikaner, imported, Weiss beer, Wisp, wit beer. I don't know. Um, you can read it up about it and um, you know decipher it yourself. Let me get my glasses. But I've had some German beers in the past, and I do remember they're pretty darn good. I believe this is a Pilsner, brewed and bottled by Spottenbrau, Munich, Germany. So it's from Spottenbrau. Okay. They brewed it from Munich since 1363. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. In accordance with the Bavarian purity law. Okay. So they have some laws as far as the brews over there. 510-2022. That might be the bottle on date. So it's really fresh. And... Franziskaner Natur Trub Premium Hef. It, it's a Hef. 5% alcohol. Never had it. Seen it forever. Never tried it. Thought I'd give her a go. Picked this bottle up at Total Wine and More for like well, a buck and a half. That's what it looks like. Okay. There is the Caparu. Um, I don't know much about German beers. I know a lot of people, they just love them. They, they won't drink nothing else. And you're supposed to drink these a little bit warmer, I think, apparently, than uh, most beers. So I did, I did let the glass warm up somewhat. It's not really frosted. And this is just out of the fridge. So uh, let's handle it. Let's do a German beer. Beer Hounds wants to do German beer. I'm going to do it just like everything else. So, aggressive pour. Woo! That's a spunky one. Would you look at that? All right. The reason I do an aggressive pour is because, like I said in my other videos, I'm going to, I'm going to sample the foam. Okay. And also want to look at the foam, look at the action the foam, foam has, the froth, whatever you want to call it. It, and it looks very tight. There are some bubbles popping open, that, but it looks real creamy, frothy, tight. There's even a bunch in the bottle. As you can see, um, it looks good. I mean, you, you could tell this is different, definitely different. Pretty hot, cloudy coming out as well. Very cloudy. So big, giant, tight, creamy, frothy, silky head. Very nice. Very nice looking. Not bad at all. And um, we have a real murky looking kind of amber color here. I figured I'd, I'd, you know, keep going with the reviews today. It's Memorial Day, so... I got the day off. I ain't got nothing better to do. So let's do some reviews. Do we did a enjoy by American beer. 
We did a Mexican beer, and now we're doing a German beer. Look at that. No sharpness of the light at all. It's hazy. Very murky hazy. Very murky hazy. No sharpness at all. Looks good. It's like a murky amber color. It's hard to really see kind of what color that is, though. But uh, let's see if we can get some more in there. There we go. Thick, thick, thick head. Very thick. Looks good. All right, there we go. All right. Not really seeing much through it. I mean, a little tiny bit right there, but that's pretty, pretty hazy. Hazed out. It's getting aroma on this puppy. Oh, wow. Okay. It smells uh, a little bit like a Belgian, like a Belgian. I'm getting bananas, some cloves, a little cinnamon, some floralness, banana cream for sure. Maybe, maybe a touch of like uh, vanilla. That smells awesome. That smells freaking awesome. I was not expecting that at all. But for the most part, it smells like a banana cream pie. Banana cream pie to me with a little cinnamon on it. A little clove action in there too. It smells like a good Belgian. It's nice. It's very nice. I'm gonna hit the foam, the froth. Oh yeah, that's a good beer. That's a very good beer right there. No doubt. Wow. Mm. Taste follows the, uh, the aroma. What the hell? Um, a little earthy kind of hops in there also. Herbal. The head is pretty creamy. It is a little foamy. Really nice tasting beer though, uh, as far as the head goes and the aroma smells great. It really does. It, it totally is not was what I was expecting. I don't know, uh, half and one, I don't know if this is an ale or a Pilsner. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to think it might be an ale. I'm gonna hit it, let's go. Let's get into this, cheers. Ribbit, excuse me. Oh, wow. Wow. Whoa. That is different and good. Mmm. Damn. That is smooth. Holy crap. That is freaking good. Damn. 5%. Mm. Oh, whoa. That's tasty. That's very nice. That's got medium mouthfeel. No booziness at all. That's a good freaking beer. Damn. Oh, it's so smooth. Very, very smooth. Almost like flat, though. Like there's no fizziness or nothing. It's so smooth and just kind of, it's not totally flat. It's just, it's watery, but it's, there's enough there. Just, it's just, you know, it goes down super easy. It's smooth. The vanilla notes are coming through a little bit more now. super good I mean this is crushable you can you can drink the crap out of this stuff no doubt about it you could drink the hell out of this stuff 
It's got those Belgian kind of beard characteristics, but just not so much in your face. It's smoother, much more drinkable. Oh, you could slam this stuff. You could slam the crap out of this stuff. This is this is good, good, good beer. Damn. Wow. I don't know. I'm, I'm scared to go down the German rabbit hole, man, with beer. That's going to be a whole different ball game there. This is awesome, man. Wow. I'm going to have to pick up a six pack of this stuff or a 12 pack. I can drink this. From what I gather, this is good price too. Uh, the six and 12ers are very, very good price compared to some of the IPAs. Oh man, don't tell me. I'm going to have to go down the German rabbit hole, oh, man. So, Germany might be claiming parts, parts of my future paychecks. Mmm. A little breadiness, too. Mmm. Sweet bread. Very, I just, it's almost gone. Crushable, crushable, crushable. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill it here with you, and then we'll wrap it up. Medium mouthfeel. Awesome. Oh, yeah. It gets better as it goes, too. Look at the lacing on the glass. Killer head retention. This is awesome. Very tasty. That's pretty much what I got in this puppy. Um, excuse me. Tripping out. Uh, scale of one to five stars. It's a solid 4.2. This is better than a lot of IPAs, to be honest. Really, really, really nice. So 4.2 it is. That's the story on this one. I won't even try to pronounce it, but that's what it looks like. Okay? Really tasty beer. Really, really crushable. Drinkable. Awesome stuff. So 4.2. Cheers, Germany. Awesome offering. Great beer. Bell, like, subscribe. You know the deal. Have an awesome day. Happy Memorial Day. As happy as it can be. Later. Thanks for stopping by.